My name is Sherry Major and I'm married to Kim Sherwood and he and I in retirement decided that we wanted to do something that would make a difference in the world. Him being an environmental engineer and me being a former teacher, we decided that building a campground that models sustainability is what we wanted to do in our retirement. It's unique because we take sustainability seriously. A lot of people have chosen to come to our campground because of the, the sustainability and the recycling and all the things that we do. You can see that a light bulb is sort of turning on and, and that they're appreciative that that's been modeled for them. And again, we just hope that they are able to take it back and, and utilize it. The walls of the building are extremely well insulated. They're straw bale walls so that we don't have to spend a lot of money on air conditioning or heating in the winter. We also have heating in the floors that is radiant heating. The material that covers the floor of our yurt, the carpet in there is 100% recycled to phthalate bottles. We have gas dryers and gas stoves and things and we also encourage people to use the clothesline and use the natural environment rather than high amounts of electricity. We do things to go salvage the energy in the water off the roof like the rain barrel arrangement and we're studying how we can store the summer's heat to be used in the winter and the winter's cool to be used in the summer in the aquifer that flows below our feet. Probably the heartbeat of this campground is the community kitchen because people come and they cook. We got the idea in Australia and New Zealand where they have community kitchens and it's really hard not to interact with somebody who's cooking something that smells so good. So people are always sharing and talking and then they talk about what adventures they're going to do and they form friendships, they form international friendships. We go through not just the stuff that gets put in our um, recycle bins, but through the other garbage and see if there's any aluminum cans and uh, appropriate plastic bottles, and in particular, remove all the glass bottles. We get all that sorted out. I think that modeling that behavior has a really positive effect, rather than trying to make people feel bad or lecturing them about what we're doing. Just trying to show them that you can have a lot of comfort and joy using less energy.